Today I just wanted to quickly show you how the same species of plant can look very differently in your yard depending on its environmental conditions and microclimate. Let me show you. So this is a Mexican marigold. It's a plant that's not native to here exactly, but it's native to close by. You'll see them growing all around. They smell really nice. Yeah, these yellow blooms and you'll see how small the leaves on this are. This is in direct sunlight. This is the south side of my house so it gets sun literally every day of the year that the sun is out it is getting direct sunlight and you'll see that they, it's adapted and grown with much smaller leaves protect itself from drying out too fast. It's uh, more worried about too much sun rather than concerned with getting enough. Compare that to this specimen, which is planted just about 10 feet away from the other, but is planted right against a fence. So it's getting a little more shade. It's surrounded by some plants, which are also giving it just a little bit of shade. And you'll see how much larger and lusher the leaves are. It's not as concerned about overheating or giving up uh, too much of its water because it is right next to a fence. It is getting shade in the afternoon when it's hottest. And so it is adapted by growing bigger leaves. And finally, we have this specimen, which is in a very shady corner of my yard. It gets sun for just a few hours each day. And you can see that it's adapted by growing its leaves as big as it can. So it can catch as much of that sunlight as possible. It's not worried about overheating or losing moisture. It's just worried about getting enough sunlight. So that's why it has bigger leaves. It's super important to remember that plants are living creatures with intelligence that make decisions based on the environment and the situation they're in. So even though you plant the same species in different parts of your yard, it might look very different and adapt to the specific situations that it is in. Pretty cool.